change. The Royal Navy has endured through a changing world over centuries. New technology, new destinations, new experiences, new allies and adversaries. With a fleet that has evolved to meet every new challenge presented to us. But change is driven by people, not ships. This is your Royal Navy. This is your future. I'm very aware that the Navy that we're shaping for the future is going to be the Navy for our people that are lower down in the organisation. They're the ones that are going to inherit this amazing new Navy that's bigger, that's more out in the world, that is trying to be a lot more modern and sophisticated in terms of how we support the nation. And these people are going to inherit that Navy and they need to be involved in shaping that Navy. So I want to have a conversation with a slightly more junior audience to hear how it feels to them in terms of what they think of our plans and the changes that are happening and how we need to either adjust those changes and plans so that it nestles better with them and their aspirations for the future. I think it's absolutely vital that we have all ranks at this kind of thing. AB1s, AB2s, they're our future. Um, they're the people that are going to go through the Navy for the next 20, 30, 40 years. Um, and they're the people that really need to be making their mark on it now. I am currently a Change Advocate member. And for me personally, I believe change is the only constant. The Navy has to change to progress. We are one Navy. Uh, we are only as strong as, as the collective. Uh, so any information uh, needs to be passed down to understand that for, for anyone, if you can give them the why, they find the how. So actually, if you can articulate across the entire Naval Service um, how we do our business, then they will find a way that we can execute that. I saw online yesterday that a lot of virtual questions were being raised and I think technology advancing as it has, has allowed that capability, both physical and virtual audiences to participate and hopefully get the answers via this medium or via CEO post the conference. So we're in a Navy which is as good as it is because of the quality of the men and women in that Navy. And everybody has a voice and there should be confidence about being able to raise issues and being able to look for clarity about the Navy's future and where we're heading. So I've got some, I've got some things that I want to say. Um, I don't know what the questions are uh, and that's fine, that's how it should be. It's a difficult one because there isn't an easy answer to the question that I posed. Um, but we did get an answer and hopefully that will help um, other people in my situation uh, to form their own opinions of what they would like to do in the future. What I would be hoping um, in the future is that the higher levels can continue to include not just middle managers but my, like myself but also the junior ranks so that they would know exactly the reason they can feel part of the change and they can become more involved and take ownership and see that there is a bright future for them in the Navy. So I think the leadership need to know how we feel and they need to know when we're not feeling valued and they need to know that they need to change things in order to make the Navy better for everyone. I had an expectation that we would be receiving a lot more uh, pre-structured material, um, but I was gladly surprised by the degree to which the questions were answered and the, the floor was open for much longer than I'd expected. Um, so a good bit of it time listening to genuine responses to genuine questions. We serve the people in the Royal Navy. To lead is to serve and those people are the ones that we owe our duty and obligation to. To look after them, to reassure them, to tell them what the plans are to excite them about the amazing Navy that they're going to inherit in the future. The opportunities, 
to get on up through the system. And therefore, you know, ask the questions. They don't want to say, some of them may be, uh, may, be, may, be, may be appropriate for me. Some of them might be appropriate, more appropriate for their divisional officer. Some of them might be more appropriate for the leading hand of the mess. But come on, have the courage to ask the question and, and all of us have the, the responsibility to answer.